Where are you emotionally and mentally just right now thinking about this game? I'm very emotional. You know, I'm not. I'm trying not to get out of character, but this game mean, means a lot for us, and we're going to get it done for the state of Ohio. Two states, two schools, their stories, their histories align forever. An unshakable intent, going to Ohio State. a commitment that doesn't fade, it only grows stronger. A blood oath, scarlet and gray, maize and blue. A bond first formed with teenage teammates and campus classmates. A chemistry as strong as a 10-yard chain. The older Big Ten rival going. Ohio State, Michigan. On Fox. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Oh! Wolverines making their way down the tunnel. Kickoff in under six minutes here on Fox. Number two, Ohio State. Number three, Michigan. Both undefeated. The winner claims the Big Ten East title and moves on to next Saturday's Big Ten championship game. It's the 119th edition of the game. The maize and blue, the scarlet and gray for the call. Gus Johnson and Joel Clack. Big noon Saturday is sponsored by AT&T Business. Next level moments need the next level network. Welcome to the big house, the largest stadium in America. And I hope you're ready to watch the biggest game of the season. It's the world famous Ohio State Buckeyes and the Michigan Wolverines do or die. McCord in the shotgun, Travion Henderson. He's the X factor at running back in the pistol. They give it to him on first down. He'll get through the hole with a nice gain as he gets to the 30 games, five grand. Remains in the game and running back. And they'll give it to him running right with a little daylight, but he'll go down. After a one-yard game, Chris Jenkins comes up and makes the tackle number 94 defensively for the Wolverines. Well, they're so good up front, and Ohio State's going to be quickly on the ball here. Empty backfield. McCord to throw it over the middle and dropped. Ameka Abuka had it. Ohio State three and out to start this game. In it running back. Wilson, the motion man. McCarthy. Throwing on first down, near side, incomplete for Michigan. McCarthy out of the gun. They'll give it to Coram. Coram pushing forward. Will gain five yards on the play. Top Edwards in motion. McCarthy finds him on a short pass, and he'll go nowhere. Ohio State ready for it. It's McNewson in on the play. And McCord looking. McCord dumps it over the middle. Henderson in space and he'll pick up a first down. Second series for the Buckeyes. Here's McCord looking left. Fires incomplete. Marvin Harrison Jr., the intended receiver. And they'll hand it off. Henderson. And he'll go nowhere. Drop for a loss. Josiah Stewart. The Coastal Carolina transfer. First man to him. No game. It's his scoring defense. Third and ten at the 37. McCord, empty backfield. Trips up top. Looks that way. Short pass underneath. Xavier Johnson looking for the first down. He's close. But I think he may be short by about a foot. Boy, first big decision of the game goes to Ryan Day. And before this team, it means everything. Wolverines trying to run it over the right side. Ohio State prepared for these two teams this year. Second down and nine to the 22. And Blake Corm slithering through the hole. Actually make that Donovan Edwards remains in the game. Loveland in motion. McCarthy bouncing it outside. McCarthy wants to throw it, tucks it, and will not pick up the first down with McCord. 
Play fake. McCord underneath. Intercepted. Michigan. Will Johnson jumped the route. Cross forward and has it at the five yard line. Kyle McCord. Only his fifth interception of the season. And it looked like Harrison slowed up a bit. Will Johnson cut off this route. It's a bit of an RPO with the fake in the backfield. Will Johnson is one of the best corners in America. He's a freshman All-American a year ago. Watch him right here as he undercuts this route. There's the play fake, and then he just beats Harrison to the spot. And Harrison didn't fight through. Will Johnson with a pick that sets up his offense inside the 10-yard line. First massive play of the game made by the Wolverines. First down and goal at the 7 for Michigan. McCarthy gives it to Corum. Corum running right. He'll cross the line of scrimmage. Corum skipping. Corum pushing forward and he'll go down. Close to the one-yard line. Sonny Styles got him. Blake Corum. 20 touchdowns out of the eye. Second man pushing forward. No signal yet. And they say he's down inside the one. 15 on fourth downs this year. Fourth down and goal at the one. He made that decision quick. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. Offense on the field. Out of the eye formation. Max Bredesen. The up back. Korov. Touchdown Wolverines. And Michigan strikes first. Capitalizing on the Kyle McCord interception to take a 6 to nothing lead. Blake Corum, 21 rushing touchdowns on the year. Well, first you get the block by your best offensive lineman. It's Zach Center. He gets a little movement. Then Bredesen, the fullback, 44. He comes in, finishes off Tommy Eichenberg, and Corum is led across the goal line for a touchdown. Extra point, James Turner, good. Blake Corm has scored a rushing touchdown in every game this season, and in 22 of the last 23, puts Michigan on the board right here. After the Will Johnson interception, Wolverines take a 7-0 lead over the world-famous Buckeyes. First down and 10 at the 25. They pitch it, Henderson. And Henderson turns a corner. He'll get close. Third down and four to the 31. McCord to throw it. Lobs it in the air. Back shoulder caught at the 45. Marvin Harrison Jr. Five. Fleming in motion. McCord looks that way. McCord now buys time and throws. Flag on the play. That ball caught on the sideline. Illegal helmet contact. Hands to the face. Defense number eight. 15 yard field. For Ohio State. McCord with time. Over the middle. And broken up. Michael Barrett almost had the second interception of the game. McCord, sideline throw, incomplete. Ameka Ibuka, the target. McCord, Jaden Fielding, into a tip to 43-yarder, gets it up, and good. Ohio State on the board. Now Donovan Edwards in at running back for U of M. First and 10 at the 25, McCarthy to the sideline, puts it on the money. Roman Wilson turns it up. He'll get close to the first down in front of Denzel Burke. Wilson. Edwards. First down, Wolverines. A 40 or more yards during the course of the season. And in large part, that's why they're playing so well. First down, Wolverines. McCarthy on the play fake over the middle. And he finds his tight end, Colston Loveland. This is the matchup, folks, that Michigan feels they can really win big. And Loveland is such a great player at that tight end position. We feel like he's just scratching the surface of what he can be. And 
on second and long. They'll pick up two and eight for the Wolverines. McCarthy to throw it under pressure underneath, and it's caught. This time, A.J. Barner, the Indiana transfer, not enough for the first down. So let's see if Michigan goes for it. On third and eight, they get seventh. Coral, lone setback. Coram dives forward. I don't know. And they give it to him. It was close. Blake Coram diving over the pile. Watch Styles. Styles is the one that's going to come up from his safety position and try to make the hit. There's number six. He needs first down at the Ohio State 38. Edwards looking for a crease and Ohio State. McCarthy gives it to Edwards, tries to bounce it, and Edwards written out of bounds. Short gain. Alone against Jack Sawyer, number 33. Third down and six at the 34. McCarthy steps up in the pocket. McCarthy looking. McCarthy, can he get to the line to gain? Doesn't look like it. Today is Blake Coram's 23rd birthday. Fourth down and short. Play fake. They find the tight end on the sideline. Colston Loveland, first down, Michigan. We got to have a lot of confidence to run that on fourth down and short. There's no doubt, and they do have confidence. And this is such a difficult play for Styles. He's got to be in there and run defense, and then he's also got to get out in man coverage. And Donovan co Edwards back in the game. And Edwards. He'll go nowhere. Johnny Jr. McCorum back in. Play fake. McCarthy steps up in the pocket. Throws sideline. Incomplete. Roman Wilson. Number 18 is more fleet of foot. And they've got the matchup they want right now. 14th play of the drive that started at the Michigan 25. Third and 10 of the 22. J.J. McCarthy looking over the middle. Caught! Touchdown Wolverines! Roman Wilson! J.J. McCarthy threw that one off his back foot. This ball was threaded between two defenders. Malik Hartford, 25, and Denzel Burke. Great coverage, but watch this ball Ooh. goes right between them. And then Burke is able to rip it away at the end as they were going into the end zone. Wilson's 11th receiving touchdown of the season and 19th in his career. More importantly, the Wolverines take an even bigger lead over the Buckeyes. 14 to 3, and this is Ryan Day during the break. Pleading his case on that touchdown, Roman Wilson. Ruled the touchdown on the field, stood in review, and Ryan Day pleading his case with the official Trainum there. Comes in running back, the former linebacker out of Arizona State. Train him with room, cuts it back, spins forward, and he'll get nine. McCord, play fake. Up top, caught Stover. Big gain for Kyle Stover, the tight end. Stover underneath once again. This time it's Abuka and Emeka Abuka leaning forward. Second down and four at the 26. He'll throw it again. Check it down. Henderson first down and more as he's wrestled down inside the 20. Chip Trainum replaces Henderson. Here's the reverse. Johnson cuts it up. Flag on the play. As he'll fall forward inside the 15. Oh, signal, signaling Holding. for a hold. Defense number 55. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Well, he wanted the hold, but it went against him. Let's see Mason Graham on the interior. Here's Graham right here. And watch as he's going to hold the Second offensive down and goal at the three. Play fake. McCord dumps it off. Caught. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Ameka Abuka.
And Ohio State responds. 6.27 to go in the second quarter. Ben good. Eight play drive covering 73 yards. McCarthy in trouble, scrambling. McCarthy throws across his body. Whoa! What a throw. Cornelius Johnson with the catch at midfield. J.J. McCarthy with a dime. And he goes over to the sideline and pulls it in. First down, Michigan. Coral. And Coral will pick up two, maybe three on the play. Let's go back to that catch. Here's Cornelius Johnson right on the sideline, just out of the reach of Igbenosin right and getting the ball down the field. McCarthy, 8 of 11, 85 yards. Late Corm. And he'll be knocked backwards. This Ohio State run defense. 46. Wilson in motion. McCarthy steps up and goes down. Great pressure by this Ohio State defense. Michael Hall Jr. gets home. McCord steps up in the pocket. Throws it deep. McCord caught at the 40-yard line. Maserati Marv and a flag on the play. What a throw by Kyle McCord. 46 You're yards. Right. You're right. He did garner a lot of confidence from some of those throws in that game. He's six of his last seven. Completes this one. Oh, my goodness. Travion Henderson gets waxed. Mikey Sainra still. Boy, you could see this one coming from a mile away. St. Rasil was eyeing him up, and then he goes down with the shoulder to the chest. What a hit. Third down and nine. McCord underneath caught. Not a first down, but Ryan Day may go for this one as Cade Stover makes the catch from League City, Texas. And he'll get a practice try here. <laughs> That'll be good. Good snap, clean hole, fielding, gets it up, and he hooked it. No good. And that's the end of the first half. Michigan on top of Ohio State, 14 to 10. Your thoughts? That was a big stop there for Michigan, in particular because fielding made the first one. The timeout from Sharon Moore, a good one as Fielding misses the second. Michigan gets the ball to start the second half. They have the lead and the momentum. But Kyle McCord. McCarthy said, I've loved what we've seen from our quarterback, that mobility. He has been great, made the plays we need to see from him, and he loved what Mikey Sainer still was doing out there as the captain, the tone setter. Now, Gus, it was emotional in the locker room. Guys were fired up. Everyone saying, we need to play the best 30 minutes of football of our life. We will see. Ohio State will have something to say about that. First down and 10 at the 22. Blake Corm in the game and running back. McCarthy throwing on first down. Underneath, he's got his man. It's Loveland. Turns it up. And the big tight end. Colston Loveland with a 21-yard gain on first down. 235 catches for over 3,000 yards and 35 touchdowns. Alex Orgy comes in now. At quarterback, Mullings at running back. Here's Orgy. He'll run it himself. And Orgy with the seam. Orgy down the sideline, out of bounds at the 35. Josh Proctor pushes him out of play. Alex Orgy is one of the most talented and, and physically imposing Wolverines that they've got, and they wanted to get him involved in the run game. I thought early in this game, J.J. was going to have to get on the edge, but why not bring in Orgy? You talk about what he does in the weight room. They say pound for pound there is not a more athletic player on this team than Alex Orgy, and he gets an opportunity here, and he'll stay in the game. He's 6'3", 236 from Texas. A 20-yard run, first down and 10. Orgy again tries to slip through the hole, stays on his feet, and they'll stand him up after a two-yard gain. Now, but now on second and eight, they'll go back to McCarthy from the 35 yard line opening series for Michigan here in the second half Corum spinning And he'll slide down Play Corum. 
Two tight ends in the game. Play fake. McCarthy sprints out of the pocket in trouble. And he throws it. Is it a catch? Roman Wilson, yes, and a first down for the Wolverines. He got his foot in bounds. It's an incomplete pass. The player was out of bounds. It's fourth down. Jake Moody's successor. James Moody now Turner with the 49ers. The Had a 50-yarder in the season opener against East Carolina. This one from 50. Good snap. Got it away. Pure. Michigan. And they won another one yesterday. First and 10 of the 25. McCord in trouble. And McCord goes down. Kyle McCord sacked by Mason Graham, the sophomore. McCord delivers underneath. Marvin Harrison Jr. makes the first man miss and gets out of bounds after picking up a first down. Of 82 yards for Maserati Marr. First and 10 at the 36. Henderson. Henderson looking for that daylight. Had some success earlier. Let's see it here. Second and seven. They throw it out wide. Ibuka first down. Buckeyes. Against Notre Dame. Chip train him with a last second touchdown. Henderson puts his foot in the ground. And Travion. They give it to Travion Henderson. He'll plow through the line. Travion Henderson. Henderson, first down, Buckeyes. And that's it. Replaces him. Train him. Stutter step. Tries to turn the corner and does. And it looks like he has a first down. Chipper the Ripper. From the Michigan 22. Stover in motion. They'll pitch it. Train him. And train him getting downhill. Six yard gain. I'll tell you what. This Ohio State offensive line starting to move people now. Yeah, they are. You feel that rhythm, don't you? And the, and the crowd slowly being taken out of this game here in the second half. By this offensive line, Hinsman, Jackson, Jones, Fryer, and Simmons, they are getting it done right now. And again, those quality first down gains, that is the key to keep Kyle McCord out of obvious passing situations. Keep your eye on number 74 in the offensive line, Donovan Jackson. They say he has a chance to be special. Five straight runs for the Bucks. They run it six straight times. Train them. And another first down for Ohio State. Deion Henderson back in. First down and 10 at 11. Ohio State smelling pay dirt. Henderson takes it. Henderson galloping. Henderson powers. Close to the Michigan goal line, a gain of eight, and the world famous moving people even more. Boy, these Buckeyes giving Michigan a taste of their own medicine right here. Look at them downfield, getting to the second level. They'll run it again, looking for the touchdown, and they have it. Ohio State, smash mouth football. And the Buckeyes with a chance to level this game at 17. Fielding looking to equalize, and we are level at 17. Five. First and 10 Wolverines at their own 25. Corum straight ahead. You'll get to the 30. McCarthy underneath, caught inside. And that's Loveland again, an 11-yard game for Colston Loveland. Out of the offset eye. Edwards. Donovan Edwards. Team. Now they are a team that banks on limiting explosive plays. Play fake, McCarthy with time. McCarthy dancing, rolling. He'll tuck it, cut it. Still on the move, J.J. McCarthy sliding down. At the Ohio State 40-yard line, a 15-yard gain. He's got 4-4 speed when he's healthy. Second down and nine at the 40. McCarthy steps into his throw over the middle. Wide open target. This time it's A.J. Barner still on the move. The Indiana transfer. It's a big first down for the Wolverines. And Zach Zinter. Their all-American right guard is down. Zach Zinter. Their all-American right guard.
came back because he wanted to be a part of this team, felt that they had unfinished business, got his knee rolled up on, folks, and we're not going to show it to you. It's ugly. Zinter also up for the Campbell Award, which is the academic Heisman. will have to go to Las Vegas in December, and you can see the concern on the faces of this team. This is their leader, Zach Zinter. We're going to step away as they take a look at him. His day is done. Michigan will be without their superstar offensive lineman. They're without their head coach. This is obviously a huge loss. Zinner is the most experienced offensive lineman that they have. 41 starts in his career here on senior day. His family was able to come down, surround him as they worked on that left leg. And now this offensive line will have to regroup. This is as close a group as you will see in college football. In particular, a guy like Trevor Keegan, 77, and Zinter. They played a lot of football together. Keegan was emotional during this break. And you can see J.J. McCarthy with Zach Zinter's parents. Also, Trevor New Trevor Nugent. Drake Nugent. Drake so, Nugent, yeah, excuse the me. center there. And we'll see how they react here and, and how they can move forward after the emotional. Trente Jones will replace him. First down and 10 of the 22. Corm dancing. Corm breaks a tackle to the end zone. Blake the Great. Touchdown, Wolverines! 22 yards! It's good. What a game this is turning out to be. Michigan, seven plays, 75 yard. They eat up 340, and here's a look at Blake Corum. Well, Blake is going to get himself isolated on the safety. This is Sonny Styles. Watch here, third level move, and he just outruns him to the left. Style takes a bit of a poor angle there towards the inside, and Corum takes off on that left side. And that's the thing that I think opponents fail to realize about Blake Corum. He's so good in the short yardage, and he's so powerful, but he has that quickness and the burst. We saw it against Penn State. We see it there again against Ohio State here. And what a huge touchdown flashing the 6-5 for his offensive lineman Zach Zinter. How do you respond? How does Ohio State respond now? Here's the pitch. Henderson tries to cut it back and he'll cross the line of scrimmage and gain a yard. Second down and nine of the 26. Kyle McCord steps into his throw. Oh! Incomplete! Quentin Johnson Laying the wood. Ameka Abuka couldn't hold on. Abuka is open right down the seam, but the throw is just floated a little bit. And watch 28, Quentin Johnson, the closing speed, hits him right in the chest. And now listen to this crowd come alive. Third down nine at the 26. McCord, incomplete, and Ohio State will have to punt it away as they go three and out. Donovan Edwards in the game, first and ten of the 36. Edwards follows his block, bounces it outside, oh, and he's wrestled down from behind. What a tackle by Tommy Eichenberg. McCarthy. Quick strike, near side, Wilson turns, and a first down, Wolverines. Josh Proctor, the safety with the tackle. The last couple of years. First and 10 at the 46, Edwards, they pitch it to him. 
Edwards wants to throw it. Wide open. He's got his man. Loveland. Inside the Ohio State 20. 34 yards. We've seen Edwards' ability to throw the ball before. A couple of years ago in the conference championship game, a beautiful throw to Roman Wilson. Here he finds his tight end. Edwards delivers it right over the top of that defense. And Sharon Moore is being ultra aggressive. He said he was, Gus. He's now three for three on fourth down. Now pulling out all the stops. And Aiden Hutchinson loving it. First down and 10 of the 20. For Michigan. Blake Corum back in. McCarthy to Corum. He'll slide through the hole and pick up a couple. Use his legs. They hand it off Edwards. Not a lot. McCarthy swings it out. Morgan. And dang tackling. Incredible pursuit by Ohio State. Turner. Good from 50. This one from 38. And good. 27-17. Michigan takes the points. 11.57 to play in the fourth. And now it's Michigan by 10. And the Wolverines kick this one out of bounds. So Ohio State will get it at the 35. Right now, and that's Marvin Harrison Jr. Mike Sainra still. Looks like he's guarding him. Henderson to the sideline. First down, Buckeyes. Henderson, the pistol back. Play fake. McCord winds up. Sideline, back shoulder. Puts the biscuit in the basket for Julian Fleming. Henderson. McCord to Johnson. Big opening and a first down for the Buckeyes. Great call by Ryan Day. He'll gain nine. Henderson looking. Chops his feet. Gets to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a yard. Kenneth Grant. All 6'3", 339 pounds, meet 8, 13 and counting. McCord will let it fly over the middle, caught, Harrison, touchdown, Maserati Mar. Marvin Harrison Jr. with the 14-yard score, and just like that, Ohio State marches it right down the field and scores. And it's good. 8.05 to play in the fourth. Escape of college football. The Big Ten moving towards a no division format with a 12 team college football playoff. We might not get a game like this on Thanksgiving weekend between these great rivals with this much on the line right now in the fourth quarter. First down and 10 to the 25. McCarthy guns it. Sideline caught at the 30. Cornelius Johnson. Blake Lock at three. McCarthy gets it away. Corum. Not a lot. He's, he's been their guy. Third down and two at the 33. McCarthy guns it. Caught. First down, Wolverines. Wow. Cornelius Johnson with the catch. Potentially the college football playoffs. On the ground. Pounding forward. Corum. Bilal Mullins. And Donovan Edwards, both in the game, in the backfield. And they'll give it to Edwards. And Edwards will spin forward and pick up a first down as he gets close to midfield. 10 at the 48. Corum, the pistol. Corum. And he'll get inside Ohio State territory. A four-yard game. Counting second and six. McCarthy rolls, looks, across his body, caught. Wow, what a dangerous pass. Cornelius Johnson had to lay out to make the catch. I cannot believe he made that throw. Jim Harbaugh told us earlier, earlier in the season that there are times when J.J. McCarthy is running outside of the pocket. 
and that Jim, when he's on the sidelines, will be saying, throw it away, throw it away, or run, run. And then he makes a wild throw across his body. Jim almost pulls his hair out, and then all of a sudden it's successful, and he goes, good job. And I can just assume that he's sitting at home doing the same right now. Third down and one. Corum. He'll get it. And a first down, Michigan. And not only do they get that completed pass to keep the clock rolling, now they get the first down, and now Ohio State is going to have to start thinking about taking all those timeouts. And puffing for the Ohio State defense. Corum again outside. Corum looking for the first down, stays inbound, picks it up, and gains 13. Michigan starting to smell it now. Indianapolis, which started at the Michigan 25. They've eaten up six minutes. Corum on first down. On the run, can pop and get the first down. He should go down. They could take a knee and, and win the ball game. Second down and eight at the 23. Corum, and he will not get the first down. And they'll take a timeout here, which means that with no timeouts left. In the backfield. Corum running it, trying to jump cut. He will not pick up the first as he goes down. Michael Hall Jr. with the tackle. A two-yard gain brings up fourth and four. Timeout holder from 37 yards away for James Turner. Clean snap, good hole, got it away, and good. 30 to 24. Michigan with 105 to play. Ohio State will get it again with no timeouts. Down by six. What an, an amazing game this has been. First down and 10 at the 19 for the Buckeyes. McCord dropping. Underneath, caught, Stover, lost it. And that is an incomplete pass. 10 at the 19. McCord looking over the middle, caught at the 40. A 22-yard gain for Marvin Harrison, Jr. They set the chains here and spot the ball. They need to go quickly. From the 41. McCord looks. Guns it, underneath, caught! Oh, dropped by Fleming, picked up by Ibuka, and that's an incomplete pass. I think or is it? I think they're calling that a catch and a fumble. The officials are spotting it at the line where Emeka Ibuka recovered that ball. They're going to wind this clock. 34 seconds. You cannot take a sack if you're Kyle McCord. You can't throw it short of the first down marker. It's got to go outside or past the chains. Watch for those deep in routes or even as they did against Notre Dame, the seams. Emeka Abuka right down the middle of the field. Marvin Harrison, the wide receiver at the top of your screen. McCord looks, fires, intercepted. Rod Moore and Michigan will win the game and head to the Big Ten Championship. Pressure on Kyle McCord by this Michigan defense. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, Michigan player 32 removing his helmet, 15-yard penalty. First in Michigan, the one on the field is an interception. Rod Moore. The pressure is from Jalen Harrell. Here's the end, the outside linebacker. Watch him come inside a little stunt like I've talked about all day. He gets home. McCord cannot get enough on that ball to Marvin Harrison Jr. You see his arm is hit as he lets go. And there's the interception. A play on a drive like that. Either side will live forever. And Rod Moore makes it and seals a victory for Michigan. Interception is confirmed. First down, Michigan. The Michigan Wolverines, who have battled adversity from the beginning of the season with their head coach being suspended twice. Ryan Day 
will lose his third straight game to the Wolverines. Jim Harbaugh watching this game at his house will coach next week in the Big Ten Championship game in Indianapolis. The Cardi boys with their second forced turnover of the game and young Jerome Moore, 37 years old, keeps a clean sheet along with Jesse Minter, the defensive coordinator. Victory formation for the Wolverines. And that'll do it. Michigan defeats Ohio State 30 to 24 to remain undefeated and head to the Big Ten Championship. Let's go downstairs to Jenny Tan. Oh my gosh, coach, let me be the first to say you just won the game. <laughs> Take it in and describe the emotion of this moment for you and your team. I mean, look at it. This is what it is. Michigan University, we love you. The fans, the players, man, this is all about the players. Coach Harbaugh, we got your back, baby. We love you. That was for you, baby. There was so much that went into this. Your aggressiveness in terms of what we saw in offense, on defense, that huge play from Rod Moore. Just take me into the fight from today and your guys. I mean, the, the, it's all the players. They just played their hearts out. Uh, I mean, look at this. This is what it's all about. So we're just happy. I'm happy to be here. Blast, Coach. Can't wait to get you back. This is super excited. Enjoy it. Congratulations. I'm going to send it over to Tom Rinaldi. Jenny, thank you very much. Being serenaded right now, Blake Corum. Blake, we just talked a moment ago. You played barely a series in this game a year ago. It was a driving force for you coming back to Michigan. What does the moment mean? Uh, it means everything to me. You know, my guys, we all came back for each other. You know, we did it today. You know, this is what we came back for. Games like this in the big house when your back's against the wall and people think you can't do it. People, are, you know, calling you all types of names. But we stand strong and uh, we stood together as one. We came up victorious. Your offensive line leader, Zach Zinter, goes down. You guys respond emotionally right away. What does that mean? You know, that's one of the guys that came back as well. You know, so when I scored, I threw up the 6 5 for him. We said we we're going to do it for him, and we did it. You know, uh, Zach, heal well. You know, get, I know you'll be back stronger than ever. The motto has been Michigan against everybody. What's the message from Blake Corum and Blue Nation to everybody? You know, it's uh, Michigan versus everybody. If you're not with us, you're against us, but the job's not. We got a lot to finish. We got a lot of work on. On the next week. Great game, great win, Blake. Appreciate the time. Jenny. All right, Tom, thank you. JJ, we found this guy all smiles as they chant his name. JJ, how would you describe the end of this game and what you saw from your teammate Rod Moore to finish it? I mean, uh, Rod's my twin. I absolutely love that guy, but it's going to be our defense that helps us win games. And they're the best defense in the country, but I just love my guys so much. That's the thing about this team. We love each other. We play for each other, and it's a special, special group. You know how much this game meant to you personally, wanting to continue to beat the Buckeyes. How did you feel physically, and how were you able to finish it today? Uh, I felt amazing physically, mentally, spiritually, and just so happy to get it done with the boys. It's nothing better, but so much respect to Ohio State. They're a great group of guys, great team, and they played their hearts out. We'll see you at the Big Ten Championship game. Go enjoy this, see JJ. Andy. Whoa! Gus? All right, Jenny. Michigan winning their third straight game against Ohio State, advancing to the Big Ten title game next Saturday versus the Iowa Hawkeyes. Joel, your final thoughts. This was billed as maybe one of the great Ohio State-Michigan matchups that we would ever see, and who knows if we're ever going to see it with the stakes that we just saw, and it did not disappoint. Plays made on both sides. This Michigan team, I tell you what, there is a resilience and a heart on this team that is unmatched. And they found a way and made the plays when they needed to make the plays. Blake Corum, two rushing touchdowns on his 23rd birthday. He sets the Michigan single season touchdown mark. Michigan forcing 
two turnovers. And the Wolverines win it 30 to 24.